If you are considering a move to Arkansas from another state, it's most likely because of one of two reasons. One, you are wanting a little bit more bang for your buck and a little bit of a more affordable place to live when it comes to cost of living. Or two, you are looking for a slower paced lifestyle. Today, I'm going to outline a few things that I wish I had known or paid attention to before moving to Arkansas and some of the biggest questions that I get asked on a daily basis. So let's get right into it. Arkansas is still extremely under the radar. The reason that I bring this up is because over the past two years, with an increase in work from home jobs or working remotely, job transfers, everything that has been going on in the world, Obviously, there has been a lot of moving and migration throughout the entire country. Well, with that said, a lot of the South has just completely boomed in its desirability because of the lower cost of living, as well as that slower paced lifestyle. People are wanting to move back into the quote unquote Bible belt. And Arkansas really, despite being nestled in between, you know, Tennessee and Texas, we're not seeing that huge, huge demand and influx of West Coasters or you know, people in the Northeast flooding down into our state, which I think is still very interesting. Um, I've, I've got family in Dallas. I lived there for quite a long time, as well as in Tennessee. And it's just like their markets have completely been saturated by investors coming in, as well as people coming in who are selling their house for cash, moving there, and are now competing with locals. The reason that I bring this up is because it is still a good opportunity to move to Arkansas and you know get claim your little piece of it before I think everyone else gets word of it. With that said, you have to keep in mind that there are reasons that people have flooded to those markets and have not flooded to Arkansas. We do not have the, the tourism that some of these other states do. We do not have all of the dining and attractions and amenities that these other states do. And I think that that really comes down to kind of the the state's roots as well as what is going on with like the state government and attitudes here. Even as someone who's lived in other states, not originally from Arkansas, I don't really have like a Southern accent. Hey y'all, welcome to the show. I felt very, very welcomed in Arkansas. The, the state government as a whole doesn't do a whole lot to attract like new businesses and bring in employers that will keep the Arkansas talent in Arkansas or attract more talent to Arkansas. And I think that that has you know, been a good thing because it's kept Arkansas under the radar, kept prices low and all that. But at the same time, it, is, it could be considered a downfall of our area as well, because, you know, if you buy a house here, homes don't appreciate as quickly. You know, it's a good thing because we don't have as much traffic. We, we have very, very minimal traffic. Um, but you're not going to have all of those amenities and luxuries that you may be used to if you're considering moving here from like a big metropolitan area. Another thing to consider when determining, you know, if you're going to make a move, where you're going to go is look at the taxes and how they will affect you. So in Arkansas, we do have sales tax, we have income tax, and we also have property tax. So you would be subject to all three. The reason that I bring this up is because like our property taxes are extremely low, which is great. Like Arkansas is a great place to retire because because of that fact. The average property tax rate in Arkansas is like 0.61%. So very, very low, especially considering that we are kind of surrounded by some of those states, <clears throat> Texas, that have insanely high property taxes. But at the same time, we do have income tax, which some of our neighboring states do not. The income tax rate is going to be variable based on what you make. So I encourage you to look that up and see how that would play into your finances. And the thing that that does get me a little bit as just a normal consumer is the darn sales tax. Arkansas state sales tax is currently set at six and a half percent. But where they get you is that different municipalities, cities can also implement additional like tax rates on top of that. So like the highest one right now, if you 
include the the local sales tax as well as the state sales tax is like 11 and a half percent. I think where I am right now is at like 9.25 and I and I even think that's high. So that is something to consider as well. Like you would be subject to all three of those if you decide to move to Arkansas. I have found personally though that Arkansas is very competitive in terms of pricing and cost of living overall. Like our our gas prices right now are still at like $2.99 for like your regular gas. Like no, that's not Costco prices or anything like that, just from your like regular gas station. Um, as well as real estate prices. Now, although we have had a crazy market over these past two years, just nationally, the real estate market in Arkansas has obviously gone up because of that. But I am not seeing as competitive as a market here as I'm hearing about from my clients who are moving from other places. So depending on your budget, if you are looking to buy in Arkansas, I would say in that under $300,000 price point, you are probably as of right now in December of 2021, going to face some competition for like the cutest and best houses. But this is not one of those things where people are offering like $80,000 above list price. I think like in the hottest time, the highest I heard of on a local level was about a $30,000 offer above list price. And we are still occasionally seeing our multiple offer situations. They have definitely reduced, but just just be aware of that. So I'd say if you are considering a move to Arkansas, the biggest things to reflect on are how is the lifestyle there going to compare to the lifestyle that you're currently living wherever you happen to be? And, you know, is that going to be a change that you're excited about or not so excited about? Like, do you feel like you're going to have to compromise? Keep in mind, Arkansas is still rural. Like our biggest city, Little Rock, the state capital, only has just over 200,000 people in it. We only have 10 cities in the entire state that have a population over 50,000. So when I get phone calls and some people are saying, yeah, I want to move to a small city, To some people, a small city is like under a thousand people. To other people, a small city is like under 50,000. So I do feel like you've probably got a lot of options there. If you are coming from like an extremely urban area to where you are used to being extremely close to everything and having ample dining opportunities and bars and nightlife to go to, Moving to Arkansas might be a little bit of a shock for you. You might have to readjust what you like to do, go on a few more hikes, hit up the bars a little less. Obviously we do have them, but it's just a small fraction compared to what you would experience if you were living in either a main city or like a suburb of a large city. Um, I always like to, to bring up the fact that if you talk to someone originally from Arkansas who's like born and raised here, you'll hear them talk about Little Rock as like a big city. I've even heard people say like they're scared, they're scared to drive in Little Rock. I mean, we've got like maybe three lane highways here um, because they're just so used to their small rural communities, which is great. To, to me, coming into Little Rock and Central Arkansas, and even when I was living up in Northwest Arkansas, it's like this is the smallest type of community I've ever been a part of, and it's the largest one that the state has to offer. So it is really cool to kind of see those differing perspectives, but I would say just just note that. I feel like if, if there was someone who made a video just like this, who was originally born and raised in Arkansas, they would probably have a lot different of talking points. And that's why I try to kind of explain the biggest things that have been differentiators for me coming from other different states. I made a specific video talking all about like the typical weather in Arkansas, and I'll link that above. Every time I make one of these videos, I I feel like I could go on and on about all of the different like pros and cons of living in Arkansas. I feel like those are the main ones. If you haven't checked out the other moving to Arkansas videos I've made, I will make sure to link them. I've made these videos for the past two years, as well as just sprinkled in some additional content about Arkansas. But if you have specific questions, I will link 
my information and a contact form in the description of this video. I'd love to answer them for you, as well as feel free to comment because we feel if you have a question, you feel like it would be valuable to have an answer you know, publicly so that other people considering a move to Arkansas would find it valuable as well, please comment that below or send this video to anyone else you know who you might want to convince to move over to the natural state with you. To see some additional footage of me just out exploring Arkansas, doing some driving videos, and really showing you what it's like on the ground here, check out this video up here. I'm Nicole Nark, Arkansas real estate broker, and I will see you in the next one.